My name is Stefan Del Mare. I'm a member of the Guildhall's Cohort 16. And today in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to set up a AI controller and pawn pair for use in, in a UDK mod that will make use of the navigation mesh to follow the player and then fire at him once the bot is within a certain range. For this tutorial, I am assuming you already have your project set up and ready to go. In this case, I place my classes under AI mod and then classes. So first, let's take a look at the attack bot that we will be creating today. The bot extends UT pawn and it is placeable, which will allow us to place it in our editor easily. The first part we will take a look at is the event post begin play. Here we call the super post begin play and also the add default inventory function. In the add default inventory function, we give our bot a weapon that he will use. In this case, I've created a weapon called my weapon. Taking a look at it quickly, it's simply a weapon which extends the built-in link gun. Moving on, we set up the default properties. We need a collision cylinder for use with the nav mesh navigation. So I've set the collision height to 44. The next part here is just the default mesh, which is included in UDK, which I'll be using. It's important, however, that you add this mesh so that it's actually showing up and managed in the level. Moving on, we use our AI mod attack AI controller for the controller class, and then we set some of the movement parameters for our bot. Next, let's take a look at the AI controller, which will be doing most of the work. As you can see, it extends AI controller, and we set up some variables here at the top that we'll be using. In the event possess, not only do we have to possess the pawn, but it's also important to set the pawn's movement physics or it will not be able to move in the level. AI in UDK is based on states, which we'll be taking advantage of today. Here we have the idle state, which is the auto and the first state that the bot will enter. In this state, the controller basically checks to see if the player is within a certain distance. If so, it will go to the shoot state. If not, the chase state will be entered. So next, let's take a look at the chase state. This is where things start to get interesting. The chase state makes use of the nav mesh navigation methods. For nav mesh navigation, Everything is handled by the navigation handle. So let's take a look at how this is working. When the state begins, it checks to see if the player is within firing range. If not, then the navigation handle is called to see if the actor is reachable. If the actor is reachable, then it is visible just in front of the bot, in which case it simply wants to move towards the player. However, if it is not reachable, then it will need to, to make use of the nav mesh pathfinding abilities. The nav mesh pathfinding makes use of path constraints and path goals. So first, we're going to want to clear both of these to set some new ones. So first, we'll create a constraint 
that the bot will move towards the player and then we'll create a goal that the end of its path is at the player. From there we can fire up the navigation handles find path method which will use the A star search and return a path if it can find one. Now if a path to the player is found and then we will take advantage of that to see where to move. First we'll draw out the path cache for debugging purposes and then we'll call get next move location which will set this variable temp dest to the next move location along the path. Then we can simply move to that destination facing the player and then draw this debug line and sphere for our own purposes to see what the bot is doing. Now our final state here is the shoot state. This is when the bot sees that the player is very close by and wants to fire at him. Here all that we do is we zero out the movement and then wait for that to finish and then simply fire a shot. And then once again we check to see if the player is within range because if he is not then we are, we're going to want to move towards him. So now let's take a look in the UDK editor to see what we have. First as you can see we have an AI mod attack bot here. We also have this pylon which is what creates the nav mesh for the attack bot to use. So you can see that this defines where the bot can move in the level. So let's start the game and see what happens. As you can see it's a top down view and once you move in front of the bot he indeed walks towards you and then starts shooting. So let's see if we can trick him here. As you can see the nav mesh pathfinding kicks in and you can see the path drawn in green with the sphere at the target location. And once again he starts firing at you once he gets close enough. So now let's see if we can give him the slip over here in these more complicated areas. As you can see the navigation path creates an adequate path to find the player no matter where you can go. However, one thing to be careful of with this is that if the player steps outside of the nav mesh, then the bot does not know what to do and cannot find you. Once you step back inside, it will resume chasing you and firing at you. So that's it for this tutorial. In this tutorial we've created a AI controller and pawn pair which use the navigation mesh to pathfind towards the player and then fire at him once he's in range. I hope you found the tutorial interesting and also informative and good luck implementing this yourself.